so good morning and good evening to all in our last session we talk about a staffing model where we covered there are two types of staffing model and pros and cons or how we can distinguish and which scenario we should inform our customer that they should go for job management or a position management and since both the staffing model has got different features different fundamentals and depending upon the requirement we can discuss again even we have two but mostly recognized or widely used option is position management and throughout our activity we will focus more on position management okay now the chapter 4 is similar to things which we have done in chapter 3 jobs and job management and position management so in jobs and position we are going to deal with both the option but now yesterday we only have seen the theoretical part of it just for a distinction between both of it but now in chapter 4 we are going to learn more about the hiring restrictions so which all field comes under hiring restrictions job profile job family location worker type time type okay all of these field is part of my hiring restriction and we know that hiring restriction is there in position as well as in job management so we will talk about hiring restrictions what is job profile because job profile is a key information then we will see how a position management can be used when i say position management restrictions can be changed how we can change the restriction we'll see that part we will also see that when i say job management and i have mentioned that job management is restriction established on to the supervisory organization so we will cover both the items here so let's get start and see that what all things we have in jobs and position so for agenda for the day is we are going to talk about job profiles very important for factor in terms of hcm in terms of managing the headcount then differentiating job profile job family and job family group how are we differentiating it we will see that part then yes creating position is for position management hiring restriction is for job management and how we manage and filled and unfilled position what happens when you have a filled position how you can manage all those stuff so these are the key concepts which we are going to talk about today okay so let's move okay now job profile very important factor for your positions for your employee so it says whether you use position or job job profile is their foundation right because we have seen job profile is one of the key information which is falling under hiring restriction okay so we know the key information what does job profile do job profiles enable you to describe general characteristics of a position and identify special skill training or other qualification okay that means if you are applying for any position position will tell me that okay uh, full time part time location but when you go into detail roles and responsibility from where you get roles and responsibilities because i say i need workday consultant now workday is a general keyword okay workday is a general keyword when i say workday consultant okay i know the position is workday consultant but in workday consultant what is the roles and responsibilities what is the skill set needed is it like somebody who is a, a undergraduate can be given an opportunity or they need a graduate and they need somebody who is coming up with two years of experience somebody who is working on time and absence or somebody who is coming on any module so what happens my job profile will give me the general characteristics so my job profile will tell me whether what is the roles and responsibilities right you see should be aware of excel should know how to handle a team should be a team player should be an issue issue handler need to stretch so there are several other specialty or which we see when we go for roles and responsibility so all my roles and responsibility will come from my job profile other other than that we see a prerequisite when i say you are applying for any job you see a requirement also the candidate should have a graduate degree 
they should have two years of experience. He should be knowing Excel. He should be a team player. All of these things will come from my job profile. Okay. So you say, what is the difference between position? Position will tell me that what is the position? Is it a workday consultant or analyst and associate along with my location, along with my time type, whether it is a full time or a part time, but my roles and responsibilities will come from job profile. Okay, now, very, as I mentioned, you see, now you say that you're getting, uh, let's say $10,000 per month. Okay, and if I say I'm giving you a CEO position, but the salary will be $5,000 per month. Obviously, you're not going to do that part because even when we go position matters, I agree, but at the same time, compensation also plays very important role. So we can now, when we apply to any position, there is no specific compensation. It says there is a range. So you see that, okay, we the, the range falls between 10,000 to 15,000. Depending upon the candidate's experience and interview, we will see what value we can give, but this is between 10,000. So our salary range will also fall under job profile. That's very important line. Our salary range is, Compensation benchmarking will also come from my job profile. Okay, job profile can be used to create multiple positions. So I can say that I need, let's say, three workday position or a three analyst position. So what I'm saying, one job profile can be used for multiple positions. Okay, guys, understand. One job profile can use multiple positions. In this example, you see. The job profile is IT help text and it is being used for two positions, position one and position two. So one job profile can be used for multiple years. I see that, okay, I need 10 workday consultants with two years of experience, having knowledge of HCM and report writer. Okay, this is what my requirement and I say I need 10. So I have 10 open position with same job profile. Okay, let's get more into it. Okay, now if you look at this picture, it clearly states that I can group my job profile into job family and then job family into job family group. Now, hierarchy, even this has an hierarchy and it plays very vital role. So for an example, I say analyst. Okay, now analyst is very general keyword. You don't know from where this analysis is coming. I can say that analysis is coming from finance, analysis is coming from sales, analysis is coming from marketing, analysis is coming from HR. So analyst, you see analyst is a generic role coming from any department, okay? So this is a work they say, it's no problem. If you do that way, obviously it is a concern unless I go in detail and see that what is the roles and responsibility. So everyone will not go there. So to avoid that confusion, what I can do is I can have a job catalog. Now this concept in Workday is called as job catalog where you will group your job profile into a job family and then job family into a job family group. So to get more into this, let me use an Excel and then we will see that how best we can understand this. So we will have same job profile here. Okay, one moment, let me close this. Okay, now let's suppose this is my job profile. I can have Analyst, okay. Now, I see there are three analysts, okay. But can you make out this analysis for, what is the job family? Job family means this analysis from, for HR, human resource. I'm not talking about department here. I'm talking about the family, which family this is coming from. So 
to avoid this confusion i have one more segment called job family okay i see that okay this analyst is coming from let's say <laughs> finance investment okay sales okay let and then i say i can regroup this finance investment sales further into job family group okay now i say that finance and investment is part of my business operation and sales is my marketing okay now what i have done see i have three job profiles okay then this job profile is part of finance this job profile is part of investment again i can have under finance i can several i can have several job profiles i can even have associates i can have manager so it doesn't mean that you can have only one to one relationship i can have multiple job profile coming from job family same case here i can have different consultant i can have any damn thing is different thing which is coming falling under investment which is my job family and my job family is further segregated into my job job family group now why we recommend to use this approach now let's suppose if i come back and say that hey i want to give a sales allowance just for an example i wanted to give a car allowance to employees or to the job profile who are coming from job family finance and investment okay now imagine if i don't have this concept then what is my criteria same concept i say okay include all of these job profile and give a car allowance to employee okay now here is a confusion i have analyzed here so whenever i am adding this job profile to my criteria again i'll face a confusion saying that what is this analysis from unless i see that this is coming from okay let's suppose i don't have this concept at all okay let's say i don't have this concept and now i'm saying okay create an eligibility rule where job profile this four job profile should get car allowance okay i can say jp means job profile equal to i'll add all of the job profile right okay okay done now in future i am adding one more job profile here which is consultant okay now i forgot to add this consultant under job profile then what will happen obviously consultant will not get the car allowance but all other job profile will get which is not the right approach it should have if i am adding here it should be updated here which is a manual work and you see there is a task is required where you have to make sure that you are adding creating new profile and adding it to job family which is a manual work but now if i say this way okay now i have a family and job family group i'll create a criteria saying that job family should be it should be finance and investment okay now i say job family is equal to finance and investment and in case if i'm creating one more here do you think that i need to add any anything to my eligibility rule is it needed or system will handle that part tell me is it needed do i need to change no, my eligibility no, no. rule no why because no, you have already okay. given the job family that means in future also if i come up with multiple job profile under investment or analyst till my eligibility rule will automatically consider that because i have given the one level above hierarchy where anything which comes within this job profile 
you don't have to go for any maintenance system will automatically take care of this part so this is one of the reason there are several other things when you say that okay let me know how many employees are coming from job family you can report on them okay so again if i don't have this concept no problem but what i said job profile is the key information for my job or for my position so we need to have job profile without job profile we will not be allowed to hire any employee that is for sure but work they recommends that if you group your job profile into family and family group then it becomes more sense for you to go for a better implementation approach okay and this concept is called as job catalog and each organization has this even if organization let's suppose if organization is doesn't have the such information then the best what you can do is you can ask them to go for an update that update your job catalog so that in future whenever you are expanding you your application should so it is not like that always if customer if customer is not following the right approach you should you also be wrong no whenever you feel like no this is not the right approach as a consultant it's your roles and it's it's your responsibility to make sure that your customer is in line and getting things if they are not doing in a correct way okay so try to understand your suggestions will always count and since you are the consultant you know what is needed how work the application will work well then basis on your past experience okay now it is it is very obvious that you cannot uh, you you should not give your suggestion day one when you are new to organization you itself don't know work day no but when you come up with a hands on experience for as per industrial best practice you should give this information okay so considering the fact that we need to have a job profile grouping into family and family group now we will see what is job profile okay now advantages is like when you create an eligibility rule i can create an eligibility rule on job profile if i don't want to create an eligibility rule on specific job family i can use my job family group whenever i am creating a new job profile obviously i'll have to add a job profile so you can use job profile job family or job family group for your criteria okay now let's create and try to understand when i say job profile job profile is a critical a critical part of my staffing model so let's create so i'll say create job profile okay i'll create the same option okay this is what i'm going to create i'll have job profile tagging to family and then family will go to business operation so effective date as i know that any of my job profile is effective 11900 so i'm saying create a job profile now job profile has got several items to show up here so name which is mandatory and all other things are not mandatory but we will still see what best we can do so i say this is analyst hyphen 01 okay code job code i can have a job code let's suppose if i am migrating from a legacy application they say that no no we need the same code which is to be there we can have it or else work they will automatically give a code now code is a unique id in unique id terminology in work they is called as reference id okay so if i want i can give let's say jc underscore 01 i can give this or i'll leave it blank work they will have it that do you want code in the name if yes and i'll check this box job title i say okay 01 doesn't look good so i say the job title default should be analyst okay then do you want to restrict this job profile to any specific country you say that no this job profile can only be used in two countries so i can restrict that part but so far if this is not that like uh, not that important unless come country uh, client comes to you and say that hey uh, this job profile should only be applicable to india then i can do it or else i should leave this blank now this management level is very important though it is not marked as red but this is very important why now my management level will give me that whether it is a 
individual contributor position or it is a managerial position or it is a director position so work they will give me now whatever option you see here one to eight are delivered by work day. okay work day says most of the organization have these kind of management hierarchy but in case if you want to create your own you can create your own management hierarchy sorry manage rather management level but delivered things are like good in shape i can use that but i say that hey the job profile which i am creating is a individual contributor role okay i'm giving this as a management level guys try to understand this management role is very important for us okay this you will get to know when we deal with compensation right after this when we meet next week we are going to talk about management level in detail okay so i say this analyst is an individual contributor role and depending upon my role i will change the management level if i want to have my own management level i can very well go ahead and add but currently the things which workday has given is up to mark job level again sorry job level means you see that there is a job level hierarchy if you want again this should now most of the things from this, this job profile should be come from your customer if your customer has you can create a job level hierarchy or leave it blank again not that important yes but job profile is there did i create any job profile for our job profile sorry did i create any job family for our job profile no. as of now i have not done so i will leave this blank well i'll have to add my job family job profile to my job family i'll do that activity but as of now i haven't created this i am first focusing on this part so let me create this and then i'll add up my job profile to my family and then family to family group okay job category if i have that company insider type all of these information mostly comes from your customer whether this job profile is a referral where if anybody is referring do you want to give any referral payment does this job profile has a work shift i can give that part is it a public job public job see it says true then the job profile shows up under public job profile for the user make sure security groups of the domain okay this is over complex we don't know security as of now having said that all of these things come from user what is the pay rate type pay rate type means if somebody is working as an analyst are they working as a salaried or an hourly employee i can add add here as of now compensation is not my cup of tea we don't know compensation yet so we will not deal with anything where we see pay rate type and compensation so for now park this thing okay we are not going to cover this part i'll see but note one thing that my ranges my salary ranges is determined under job profile as of now you only know that part but when we talk about compensation structuring we will see that why this compensation part is there in the job profile okay now whether the job profile is a union i can have it over here now the big one what i read that my job profile have some characteristic worker company code sorry worker compensation code is this job profile need any certification do you have any competency needed is there any educational requirement that some, it should need and somebody who is coming from bachelor degree any kind of languages if you say french or spanish or german is needed for this job profile responsibilities right should know excel should be a team player should be able to resolve the critical issues skills need to know some other application so is there any training you need or any work experience so all of these items add up to my characteristic now as a workday consultant whatever i see here should come from my customer i should not benchmarking saying that no for this job profile somebody is to have a bachelor of it information uh, degree no i cannot do that your customer has to say that hey when you create this job profile for this job profile we need a bachelor degree then only you will add you will be adding the information if you don't have it then you will leave it blank okay so the as for the definition it says job profile enable you to describe general characteristic of a position and 
identify special skills, training or other qualification. So same thing is mentioned here. I can have it here. Now job classification of a job, job classification is more towards a statutory things where country will say that if this is coming from any government related thing, I can have that part. As of even this is this will come from my customer. I can add my sim. This is a free text. I can add my job profile. Let me add here. I can add free text, which is the job profile summary. Then job description. If I have it, sorry. If I have any job description, I'm just randomly copy and pasting. I can, since it is a free text, I can have a bullet point. All of these things I can add in over here. So I can add all such information here in my job profile summary, job prof, job description, and additional job. So this is what is needed. The key factor to be considered for job profile is the management level, which management level this job profile is coming from. Compensation, wherever you see compensation, compensation is always been an integral part. So I'll focus on compensation. And all other things will come from customer. So I will not bother on that part, but customer will give me this information. What should be the roles and responsibility? What is the description? All these information should be, should come from my client. So, so far, so look good. I am creating my first job profile. So if I do this, I have done this part. Mm -hmm. So I have done this. Now let me create one more and then we will move on. Since we know the activity, now I'm not going to spend that much of time in creating a job profile. We know the key features and key factors which governs job profile concept. I'm going to give only that. I say that associate then management level is needed. I say this associate to the managerial position. Family, I have yet not created. And all this information will come from my client. So I'm going to give, so I have created my second job profile. Okay, let me create this. Okay, again, I go and create a job profile. Okay. Okay, I should have given zero one, but I forgot to add that management level is needed. Okay, let me create some. I see that HR director zero one management level. This director is falling under director management level, and I'll give all this information. Okay, so I have created three job profiles. Okay, but as of now, my job profile is not linked to job profile, but I need, sorry, link to my job family. I need to create job family as well, finance, investment. I'll do that part. Now, instead of create job profile, I'll use create job family. Okay. Effective date. Okay, I'll stick with 1st of Jan 1900. I say the job family name is, let's say, human resource hyphen zero one and i'll add just to distinguish jf job family in the job family group no which job profile now i am linking my job profile to my job family so i link let me link which is zero one see analyst hr director i say no hr director this is one which i have created i say hey the hr director job profile is coming from human resource job family. Now, if you go here, this is done. Now I want to link my job family to my job family group. So I'll create job family group. Effective date. Okay. And I'll say that this is business operation hyphen zero one operation 
okay now i am linking my job family to my job family group what is my job family group 01 j f enter human resource is now linked to business operation okay now this is i created one level let me have i have one more job profile where i want this job profile to be part of investment which is a new job family so i'll have to create new job family with 01011900 i say investment hyphen 01 let me have jf which will tell me that this is which job profile i created associate right associate okay i'm saying the associate which i have created should stick with investment okay now this investment is part of my existing job family so i will not create another business operation because the business operation is already there so i can i have two ways i can edit the job profile sorry there is no edit but or let me use edit job family group 0101900 which job family i am looking out for business operation here okay and i'll add investment also see now both of my families is coming from my business operation now since i have linked my family here let's see what happens to my job profile okay job profile okay i'm looking out for job profile let's say analyst i am in my view mode of job profile scroll down and here you go okay it should show the job family since i have linked it why it is not showing up let's see that why it is not showing it should show because i have linked my job family to this let's try and see business operation this is from human resource okay let's go to human resource and it says that human resource has two job profiles okay i have linked here but i think we need to go for let me now it clearly states human resource has two job profile analyst and hr director let's see hr director what happens here okay yeah hr director it clearly states that this is coming from human resource so i can either edit my job profile and add the family or else i can in my job family i can update my job profile to be part of my hierarchy so guys this part is clear how we create a job profile and flag it to our family and family group so in normal terminology this is a job catalog and job profile is the key part why it is key part because it deals with a compensation benchmarking that is the reason we are focusing more on job profile location we all know time type whether employee will be full time part time whether worker is employee or contingent worker we can all deal with that because that are very normal things but job profile is very crucial because it governs the benchmarking it tells me the characteristic and it is part of my hiring restrictions okay now hiring restrictions as i mentioned you see job family job profile location worker type time type all of these fields are my part of my hiring restrictions okay so whether i create a job or i create a position i have to give this information okay and we covered we talked about this part yesterday also so we will quickly move on from here now okay what i mentioned that my one of my organization is job management and all other organization is position management as of now if i go to my organization structure 
S U B colon month. Okay, I did create this organization structure yesterday. If you see, month is. If somebody has created position, no problem. It is position management. Executive group is position management. Information technology has one more subordinate, and my business application is job management. Okay, that means my organization hierarchy is a hybrid staffing model where most or where one organization is staffing, one staffing model is job management, and all other is position management. Okay, now guys, I'm talking about position management. So when I talk about position management, create position is the business process which we'll use. Now I am using a new terminology called business process. What is business process? Business process is a workflow. Now imagine a real time scenario. I am the organization, and my HR comes and says, "Hey, we need two new headcount, or we knew we need." Two open position. Now, guys, opening a position is an approval process. It is not like that individual can go and create a position and hire the employee as per their own wish. No, whenever I am creating a new position, you know that HR partner or manager will ask for new position. It will go for HR for an approval. It will go for a compensation to see if this is this position is in line with the budget because my job profile will give me the compensation range. So I say, okay, this is a budget which is approved, and then recruitment team will also be informed, saying that hey, there is a new position. Start hiring or recruiting the candidate. So now, so I'm not talking about workday, but in my normal life also, if I'm creating, I am involving different group for my approval. as of now we are not aware of business process but we do have a concept of business process where we will deep dive as of now we don't have a concept of business process so currently i don't have it doesn't mean that i'll say park the overall concept when i talk about business process something we have to assume so that activity which i am doing you have to do the same activity first go to your topmost organization okay this is my top most organization now guys whatever i am doing don't ask question you have to do that way your question will be clear when we talk about business process where when we talk about business process okay here whatever i am doing you will be clear i'll try to explain in an overview concept but in detail you will get to know when we talk about business process okay so i am on my superior supervisory organization because creating a position is an approval process so but currently manthan doesn't have any employee and my setup is not that good where an employee can go and approve the transaction so what i'll say no problem i will trim my business process where i'll shorten my business process it will not go for any approval so i go to my related actions each organization now guys understand business process is associated one more peculiarity of supervisory organization that even my business process is part of my supervisory organization and it will again adding one more feather where i said supervisory organization is foundation now we got one more reason i go to business process i see create copy or link definition i will click which business process i am referring to i am referring to create position i say that whenever i am creating a position under manthan inc or to the subordinate always select none of the above for now okay when i say none of the above mean it will not go for any approval i am trimming trimming the business process i say that hey whenever i am hiring an employee or whenever i am creating a position under manthan or to the subordinate please do not go for any approval it has only initiation a step will always be there which is an initiation okay i'll hit okay 
and you see here it has only initiation there is no step b c d there is no workflow because manthan doesn't have any security who can approve the transaction so i say and as of now we are not aware of business process so i say please do not go for any approval so i have trained the business process what does this mean if i am having something on my top all my subordinate will inherit the same process which process i am referring to create position that means whenever i am creating a position it will not go for an approval now how do i create a position because we get, we we know about there is two staffing model position management and job management now create position will directly be applicable to position management now this is my organization and here it says position management or i go to executive it is also a position management so i can create position where my staffing model is position management okay now let me create position how do i create position now i can simply type create position sorry from here or else i can go to the related action now i recommend this approach under staffing you see create position okay now guys i'm creating my first position and you remember in when you create position you give the count how many positions i need let's say i need five positions okay i'm giving a count you give the job posting title so i say the title for this position is hr director 01 is my code and since director it doesn't sound good that i'm having five hr director i'll say let me have three hr directors okay now guys first part is very clear while creating position number is determined that means how many employees i can hire i can hire three employee because i'm saying three position so count is defined in position management one 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 peculiarity is checked okay now let's talk about hiring restrictions what i said hiring restrictions will have family profile this okay, this will come from job profile location time type worker type okay now these two field have its own importance and it's a mandatory field let's talk about what is this availability date and earliest hire date availability date means let's suppose i say this is the position is available from okay 2020 to an earliest hire date is okay now what is the difference this this can be an interview question availability date means when i want my position to be available for recruitment okay let's suppose today i am posting a position it is not always that you post position today and you will get an employee today itself and you will hire no right i say i am posting my position today and i need one month of time so that i recruit and then i ask the person to start from 1st of feb 2022 see 1st of feb or even i can say 1st of march okay what does this earliest hire date means then earliest hire date means i can hire an employee not before 1st of march i can hire this employee after 1st of march 1st of april 1st of june 1st of july i can hire but my system will not allow me to hire to this position before 1st of march that is my earliest hire date availability date means when you want to source your position if you source means i am posting this position on linkedin on indeed or any other job posting site so i'll post and start my recruitment from 1st of january 2022 okay now job family i have a job family what is the now again the second advantage of job family i go here and i say a job family so i know a job family is jf01 
okay i stick with this now see what is the advantage when you say a job family work they will say that hey under this job family you have two job profile see it is giving me a reference so when you get a reference chances of manual error becomes very less again job profile is mandatory work they says this is a reference but if you don't want to use this job profile no problem you can use any job profile again work they will not throw an error see it is not it help tech specialist is not coming from my family but i am allowed to do that part why i am having this this will give me a reference saying that hey, if you are using this job family then these two job profile will come in future so work they will allow but i will use the recommended approach i'll say that hey let me use hr director 01 okay is my job profile i can add my description here now location is needed we have our location created i say hey this is should be part of my new york okay so the restriction guys focus location time type worker type this is full time position and worker type there are two types of worker employee or contingent worker so i say employee sub type whether this employee is a regular employee intern apprentice things like that i say regular employee okay now default weekly hours schedule weekly hour if i see default weekly hour is 40 and schedule weekly hour is 40 then this is i am working for full time equivalent if i change see it says it is full ft means what is the percentage of my equivalent is it a full time now it is part time now i am not though i am 20 my weekly hr is 40 is coming from my location but i am working for 20 hr so i am a 0.5 ft okay so based on this my salary will be calculated if full time employee get 10000 since i am 0.5 i'll get 5000 dollars okay but let's let's not over complicate for now okay and yes focus i am creating my first position what all information i gave i gave number is defined here and things coming from my hiring restriction let's submit since i don't want this position to go for any approval i get this green tick mark yes yeah, sushila go ahead i see you raised your hand uh see uh, like worker type we kept it as i mean uh, even though we keep it as uh, full time and if um, can we change the scheduled week or weekly hours to 50 i mean 20 whatever the yeah, 50 because, per- can be maintained yes, we can do that because full time part time means that employee is hired as a full time but due to some personal reason he is saying that hey for personal reason for 2 to 3 months i will not be able to dedicate 9 hours or 8 hours per day for that specific 3 month of time i am going to work as 0.5 ft so that full time part time is not going to consider you just have to change your weekly hours if i say he is working he is a footman like he is a dedicated employee but for temporary purpose he is not working for full time he is working for 20 hours so my profile is my position is full time but for some reason i am working as part time then i change the from 40 to 20 i can change from position same information i can change when i go to employees profile okay during oh. if that employee is already hired even that scenario i can change that part okay thank you makes sense okay now since i don't have any approval i get this green tick mark this green tick mark will guarantee that i have my process is completed and now when you go to staffing it says it is a position management and how many positions i have 1 2 and 3 i have three positions okay that means how many employees i can hire i can hire three employee and all of these are my hiring restriction okay these are my hiring restriction see okay now this is position management this is empty positions so first part is very clear that hey count is defined now let's talk about the second quality of position management i created all of these three position for new york location then i realized no 
this position should go to mumbai or should come from mumbai location not from new york now guys one point to be noticed here now i'm talking about changing the restrictions i'm saying that hey i did create three position but i want to change the restriction of one position even if i'm changing the restriction it is an approval process i don't have some anyone to approve so again i have to go to my top and trim the business process which business process i have to trim now position restriction is again a different process so i say position restriction edit position restriction so whenever i am editing a position restriction please do not go for any approval okay now we know how to trim process i trim okay done now i have trimmed the process means guys focus here i created three position in one go i given all of these restrictions but later on i realized that hey this position should be come should come from mumbai so i am changing the restriction in restriction i can change any item here but let's say this is not new york this is mumbai okay i get an alert now i have given mumbai let's try and submit i get this green tick mark why i get i get this green tick mark because i have changed the business process i said it should not go for any approval let's see what happened to my position now did i create this position new position no i used the existing position okay and my restriction has been changed so second peculiarity i can change the restriction at any point in time now third then later on after two months my supervisor comes and says hey this position shouldn't be part of executive group this position should fall under human resource or rather any of this position should be part of human resource now what i want to do do i need to cancel this position and create new position here no that is not needed i can move my position from one organization to other organization okay how do i do that locate your organization then go back to organization where is that once again under reorganization i see one option called move worker okay when i want to move let's suppose i want to move from 1st of january i created from 1900 from 1st of january i want to move the position okay this is the organization from this organization to which organization i want to move this to human resource 01 sorry okay i say that move from executive to human resource here i say worker but i see a position right i say let's move this two position okay and both the positions are unfilled means open position okay now i say that these two position which is currently in executive group now i am moving them into human resource okay let's see i'm not creating guys i'm see i get this green tick mark let's see now how many positions i'm left with under executive group one position what happened to my other position since i have moved it to human resource now my human resource will have two positions okay does this make sense that i am i can move my position from one organization to other organization third if again in pandemic most of the positions were closed right they say that no 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 now we are not hiring any new head count even we can close the position okay now this is an assignment for you go here close the position but close position is also a business process so what you will do you will trim the business process for close position and then you will do a close position now close position is an assignment guys okay 
you create five position you move position you change the restriction and then you also close the position so you do almost all the activities which we have seen or as a special feature of position management okay okay now this was position management let's parallelly we'll talk about job management also then only we will understand what is the difference between this okay which organization is my job management let me go back to executive group human resource business application and this is job management okay can i get create position let's try to dig that under staffing i don't see so this is very clear that since your man staffing model is position management you will not be able to create position so which business process this job management triggers job management triggers staffing management staffing restrictions okay now since again i go to topmost organization okay i go to topmost organization why i am going to topmost organization because it will follow the inheritance concept okay now since i am talking about job management in position management it was create position in job management it is set hiring restrictions hiring uh, okay hiring restriction is a business process which is going to trigger for job management so i'm saying hiring restrictions okay i'll trim and done okay now let's stick with our job management which organization is my job management business application is my job management now let's try to create a job under this organization in position we created position now let's create job under job management so how do we create what i said restrictions are always set on the business pro sorry on supervisory organization okay let's try i go to organization and here is set hiring restrictions i am setting up a hiring restrictions i am saying that for this organization i am setting up a restriction see i'll give this availability date 1st of january earliest hire date let's stick with 1st of january then i can have 01 okay investment then i can have associate okay then location can be from mumbai time type is full time worker type is employee and sub type is regular now ever in the screen did you notice i have given any number that i need 10 job or 20 job no number is not defined why because when you set up a hiring restriction for job management quantity is not defined okay now let's try and submit this guys since this is a hiring restriction we have already know this part i submit since i have trimmed the business process i see a green tick mark here and here you see i have a hiring restriction what is a hiring restriction mean i can hire n number of employee in this organization where count is not determined there is no count and when i hire an employee i can hire n number of employee without any glitches because it is job management as of now we are not going to hire but we have created a job management quantity is not defined and i can hire a number of employee for my job management okay now let's go back and try to digest this thing what is filled and unfilled position and what all things we can do in filled versus unfilled position 
Now edit position. Now let's suppose you have wrongly created. Now you have already created a position that later on you realize that you are giving a, you gave a wrong information, you have to edit. Now guys, even editing a position is a business process. So you have to trim the process when you edit, okay? Edit position restriction, just now we have did, we changed from New York to Mumbai. Manage position restrictions. I can, okay, manage position restriction is similar to edit position restrictions. And view position history, what I said, history is also is always there in the position. So let's go back to position. With the ID, it created a position under executive group. Okay. And here is my position. Let's see what happens to this. Okay. It doesn't have any good history because I have already created. Let me go back to human resource because I moved one position from two position from executive group to human resource. Go back and try to see the history. Okay. Let's say I am referring to this position. I wanted to see the overall detail of this history. Second tab, here you have a business process. Go back to business process and it will give you the overall history. It says that, hey, first you created the position, then you move this position here. And if I go to move, it tells me that, hey, you move the position from executive to human resource and here is the movement. Okay, who did this? Let me see this. So I see all the information here. Go back here and it says Logan McNeil did what is the date and time. So I see the entire history for my position, whatever things have been happened. So I see that information in my historical record. Okay, what all things I can do? Filled position, unfilled position if my position is not filled. Filled position means if I already have hired an employee, then what all things I can do? If my position is empty, what all things I can do? I can edit the restrictions. Close position is an assignment. What is manage position free? This is again a business process, but what is manage position freeze? Any idea? Okay, what if, if I want to put a hold to my position? Okay, what does that mean? Hold mean during this pandemic, what happened? Most of the open positions were being on hold saying that, hey, uh, we are currently putting our position on hold. Now, position on hold means I am putting a temporarily hold saying that, hey, for six months, we are not going to recruit any employee in that position. So I am putting a hold, means a temporary pause. Close position is a permanent status. When I close the position means I no longer need that position in my organization. Okay. So there can be an interview question. What is the difference between closed position and position freeze? And I've already mentioned here, what all things we can do in edit position and edit position restriction. Guys, just read this. We have already covered this part as an activity, but let me know if you need more clarity on it. So take half a minute and go over this concept. Okay, so it says when a position is unfilled, I can I can change the restriction. Just now I have changed from Mumbai to New York to Mumbai. But what happens when the position is already is hired? Manthan is working on that position. Then it says a filled position can be edited when the change to employee position data is not considered as promotion, demotion, or a transfer. Now let's suppose I am I am already been hired to that position. Can I change? Yes, I can change. But that change should not be like I'm promoting, demoting, or terminating. That changes me if I, let's say, I'm working for, now, in right, real-time scenario. I am working in New York, okay? My position location is New York. And now, during this pandemic, everyone is saying that, yes, you guys can go and work from home. So I requested my supervisor and saying that, hey, since I come from India and we all are working from home. Can I be allowed to work from India till the time the organization is allowing me? Now, when I come to India, it is not a transfer. It is not a transfer. What it is, it is simple uh, adjustment to my position saying that, hey, from this day to this day, Manthan will work from 
Mumbai. Now, when I say Manthan will work from Mumbai, it is not a transfer. It is neither a promotion or a demotion. It is mere a position change because of some structural changes, just a change. If this happens, in this scenario, I can edit the position. Now, let's talk about second process. No, Manthan, you are working from New York, but now you have been transferred to Mumbai. Now, that is different process. This is internal adjustment, which can happen via edit position. If I do that edit position, till the time I'm working on that position, that position will come from Mumbai. Let's suppose if I'm leaving that position or I am I am leaving the organization, my position will again come back to its original originality, which is from New York. Okay? So you can do that part. We will see this activity when we start hiring an employee. As of now, we are just coming up with our setup. Close versus manage freeze. I've explained this part. Closing is considered a permanent status. Position will no longer be available to hire. And close position, I've given you this as an assignment. Try to close the position. What is a freeze position? Freeze position is a temporary freeze, a temporary hold onto a position. During this pandemic, most of the organization have froze the position saying that hey, for six months, we are not going to hire any headcount. So I can, instead of closing, I can freeze the position. It purely an organization's wish how they wanted to move on with that. Now guys, you see here, this is my organizational structure with the starting model. Almost all my supervisory organization has a position management. Only one organization is job management, just to understand how job management works. Okay. So we did cover our, we get to know about in today's session, we talk about jobs and position. We understand what is job profile, why it is needed and how the job profile or job catalog can be updated in the system. Then we talk about position and job management. Whatever things we have seen yesterday, we did cover that as an activity to understand jobs and position. What we are up for next? The next item. Now, guys, till here, it was a conceptual thing. Okay, conceptual things means we get to know about the concept. We get to know about the foundation part of it. From here onward, the complexity will begin. From compensation, the real configuration part will come in picture where we will have a monthly compensation structure given for us and we need to add or create the compensation structure in the system. So let me give you a brief. Manthan is operating from India and USA. Obviously, if I am working for two countries, my compensation will be different. India will get different compensation. US will get different compensation. India should get INR. US should get USD. The complexity will come in picture and in compensation, Guys, the real complexity will come in picture. Okay. So from next session onwards, we will talk about compensation. Again, from here onwards, we will make sure that everyone is getting the concept. Okay. Any questions or any concerns, guys, before I wrap up the session for the day? Yes, Mantana, this is Ratma. I have a question. Uh, is there like uh, for the trimming the business process, do we need to do that in the real time as well? No, no, no. In real time, you already have a setup. Currently, Manthan is new organization. I am doing, I am updating my foundation information. So when you are updating a foundation information for key employees who are responsible for uh, hiring and approving, you need to trim because if you don't do that, how would your CEO will be part of the organization? So the person who are key responsible person for hiring an employee, so you have to trim. Then once you have a responsible person, let's say HR, compensation partner, then you can come up with your business process. So in reality, when you are doing an implementation, as I mentioned during my first session that we are you understanding the concept as an implementer. So when you are implementing, yes, for few employees, you have to do this follow so that they, have, they are in the system. And then if you want, you can add the steps to the process and then it should follow. Make sense? Yes, thank you. And uh, one more question. Uh, is there a concept of, you know, a job classification group as well when we create the job, uh, you know? Yes, job yes. Family group. job classification group as well. But most of that information will always come from your client. 
and if they have if they are giving you that option that yes you can add that information if you can little bit talk about on that like where it comes in the picture job classification group okay so let's go back to since we have already have our job profile okay so here is my job profile i did created one job profile let's say director i am editing the job profile now i talk about job classification now if you go to job classification location because each country has some classification again this has been given by government of that country so let's say us do i have that one second let me okay i see united states i go here and i have all of these classifications labor these, law all those these are predefined classifications right predefined you can also create okay. your own you can also create your own if you have or else worked as says okay as of now these are the classification which comes from united state mostly since this is a more towards a statutory information so what they will pre populate that information okay in case if I you want you. to get in detail just look out for this keyword in the system okay let's suppose you get you need more update on that part See, create job classification group edit job classification group you can create your own job classification okay all right thank you yeah uh mantan can you stop the record yeah uh, sure. hi all uh, uh, i want to conduct the session on uh, monday it, it will be sunday night for us and monday morning for india students are you comfortable in this are any have, do you have any no no 